So today we will be continuing with the chapter with the topic which we left in the last lecture. Okay, in the last lecture we have studied about the pressure which is exerted by the fluids. Okay, and particularly we studied about the pressure which is exerted by the liquids. Okay, then we went through few experiments also, and the last experiments which we were discussing was the liquids flow or the fluids flow from higher pressure to lower pressure. In that we have discussed that if we take one bottle which is connected with again two more bottles okay and I have filled or only one bottle is filled with water or any liquid okay and the two other bottles are empty. But you will find that liquid will as soon as we open the connections you will find that the liquid or the water will flow in the other two tubes also or other two other two bottles also okay. These experiments the last experiments which we uh, saw or discussed in the last uh, lecture it proves it shows that flu fluids always flow from higher pressure to the lower pressure okay. Now today in this lecture we are going to discuss about the pressure which is exerted by the air okay. The pressure which is exerted by the air is known as what atmospheric pressure okay. So first of all I will write here atmospheric pressure So, we will also write the definition first and then we will discuss the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is called as atmospheric pressure ok. So, what I have written the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is called as atmospheric pressure. Now, I can even say in this way like when I am talking when I am saying that the pressure is exerted by the atmosphere. But then what is there in the atmosphere which is creating the pressure. So, uh, just you know we will talk about that but before that I just want to give you one example. Suppose you uh, you know you keep one textbook on your head okay and then you again like keep on adding two or three okay make one pile and just keep it on your head. Uh, you will understand within few minutes that how heavy it is. No, and it is so difficult to carry so many books on the head. Why it is so difficult? Because that is creating pressure on your head, is not it? That is like if you keep on uh, keeping books, okay, you will keep on increasing the number of books, it is going to be very difficult for you at the, you know, after within like within 5 minutes, you would not be able to carry books and you will be keeping all the books down saying no like it is enough now, now I cannot carry even a single book. So, that means we cannot carry load okay for more time on our head because it gives us pressure is not it. So, just imagine children when we talk about atmosphere, what is there in the atmosphere? Atmosphere is made up of what okay the uh, envelope of air, the envelope of air around the surface of the earth is known as what atmosphere ok. Again I will repeat the envelope of air ok the envelope of air around the surface of the earth is known as what atmosphere. That means around the earth air is present. Now this air is present in such a you know you can just imagine the layers of the air so much of we have atmosphere for 
how many kilometers for many kilometers till many kilometers we have got that atmosphere that means air is present for such a like you know just imagine the mass of the air which is there on us okay again if you want to ask or even if the question comes in your mind that how do we know or how can one understand that air has got mass so very simple example which you might have studied in your childhood that if we take one stick and we add okay we have kept balloons on both the sides okay both the balloons are almost of same size and we have kept both the balloons on the either sides okay one side of one, one balloon on one side and the other balloon on the other side of the stick and the balloons are of same size and same types okay same amount of air is filled in both the balloons you will find that this stick is quite balanced okay it's not tilting it's not going anywhere it is just balanced in the center okay just now what you can do you can pin up one balloon you can pin out that means you can just burst one balloon okay what will happen if you put pin in one balloon the air will come out isn't it the air will come out now what is here now here just a piece of busted balloon will be there okay now you tell me where this stick is going to move obviously this stick will move like this where it will move where is the weight it is going to move in this way isn't it and this will come just upper on the upper side why it will come what does this experiment prove this experiment proves children that air has got mass isn't it when the balloon was having uh, air that means it ha it was having mass and that was the reason it was quite balanced but when one balloon was busted the other other balloon was still having air inside it isn't it so when this side or uh, balloon has uh, air inside it that means the mass is there and that is the reason the stick bends over here why because weight is here and that side this side is quite lighter and so it goes up it goes up isn't it so this experiment which you read in the childhood which one that just take one stick add or put or in a stick or attach two balloons which are of the same size same amount of almost same amount of air is filled in both the balloons these balloons are attached on the either sides of the stick you will find in the beginning that the stick is quite balanced okay then if you burst one of the balloon you will find children that the stick is going to move which side that means now after this i don't feel to explain like because you have now understood that balloon is going to be it will be moving which side this side it will go down because the air is present in this side of balloon isn't it so air has got what mass so just imagine so much of air is there in the atmosphere the layers of the atmosphere are there just imagine the pressure which is, which is exerted by the air okay and now see air means what the molecules of gases okay na air means gases and gases you all know the gases the arrangement of gases when we talk about solid this is solid isn't it this structure that means the atoms the molecules are very very close to each other when we talk about liquids liquids can be like this like it has got little space in it but when we talk about gas okay how what about gas the molecules are really free okay so when i am saying that air i am talking about air that means what it is gas so atoms are randomly you know moving here and there and so that is the reason the air it exerts pressure from every side okay from every side that means if one box is there so air will exert pressure from all the sides of that box 
if you are standing that means air is going to exert pressure from all of your body sides isn't it why because air particles are moving randomly they are not at all fixed they are not at all closely attached with each other the other molecules isn't it that is the reason why air particles moves you know the gas particles moves and they create pressure on the other body but then the biggest question which comes in the mind is then how do we bear so much of weight on our head 24/7 365 days how come it is possible okay how it is possible that we are alive with so much of weight okay the uh, if just try to find out some answer if you can get okay so and just now tell you the answer with mine whether you were correct or not in our body fluids are flowing okay the blood is there which is continuously flowing in our body now this blood is flowing where the blood is flowing in what blood vessels okay the blood is flowing in blood vessels now when the blood flows in the blood vessels okay when the blood flows in the blood vessels so blood exert pressure okay blood exert pressure on this walls okay blood exert pressure on the walls of the blood vessel and this pressure exerted by blood on the blood vessels are known as is known as blood pressure okay what is blood pressure children see in our body blood flows continuously isn't it blood flows in our body continuously and where does it flow for flowing of blood some tubes are there isn't it those tubes are known as what arteries and veins okay now when the blood flows in the vessels what is happening children when the blood is flowing the blood exerts pressure the blood exerts pressure on the walls okay on the walls of this blood these blood vessels now th this pressure okay this blood this pressure of the blood which is exerted on the vessels of the blood or like vessels okay on the wall of the vessels okay it is known as blood pressure okay now children what is the connection between the blood pressure and the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is the pressure which is exerted by the air okay and blood pressure is the pressure which is exerted by the blood on the blood vessels now what is the connection between two so now let me clear up children like we are you know uh, we are not Um, uh, we don't have to bear we don't have to uh, you know carry such a heavy load or we don't have to carry such heavy mass so we are not affected by the atmospheric pressure on the surface of the earth why children because this blood which is flowing in our body okay the blood which is flowing in our body also exerts pressure okay also exerts pressure and this pressure is almost okay it's not uh, i should say like uh, this pressure is very high okay and this pressure is like even higher than the atmospheric pressure which we feel from outside are you getting it clear the blood which is flowing in our vessels blood vessels in our body this uh, like blood is exerting pressure on the blood vessels okay and this pressure is so much that like even i can say that this blood pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure that is the reason when, when you know see if a box is there okay this is a box and i'm trying to push this side i'm trying to push this box this side but when equal force is applied from the other side also like from a point one child is pushing the box and when from b side also somebody is pushing the box with an equal and opposite pressure so box won't move isn't it the box won't move same is the case with the atmospheric pressure and the blood pressure when atmospheric pressure is acting on our body okay when when atmospheric pressure is acting on our body from all the directions from all the sides 
but still we are not seeing we cannot see its effect okay effects why children because then our blood pressure is again acting in the opposite direction of the atmospheric pressure and is able to maintain the body okay and that is a reason why the body doesn't crushes even after bearing so high pressure okay i think this point is clear now you know children many are times the mountaineers okay many are times the mountaineers who climbs on the surface uh, on the mountains they uh, you know they suffers with a bleeding nose or you know sometimes the person can die also on the when they climb on the mountains if the you know even the the veins the the vessels they may get burst now why this veins and the vessels get burst again the same reason children see when i talk about the surface of the earth okay when i am talking about the surface of the earth here i have got the air okay air is present and this air is dense okay this air is quite dense on the lower part of the surface of the earth but as you go up okay but as you go up this layer starts becoming thinner 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 and thinner and then there is a part will come when there is no gas no air okay now here when the atmospheric pressure is quite high okay here when the atmospheric pressure is very high so what is happening children the atmospheric pressure is balanced by blood pressure isn't it atmospheric pressure is balanced by the blood pressure but see when we go on the higher altitudes when we are here the blood pressure inside our body is same it is not changing it has not changed isn't it but the atmospheric pressure has become very low okay please try to understand again when we talk about the surface of the earth we know we have got atmosphere here okay so much of air is present near the surface of the earth the atmosphere is denser okay more air is present near the surface of the earth and so this atmospheric pressure the the atmospheric pressure is balanced by the our blood pressure and so we do not suffer we do not face any kind of problems but as we go on higher altitude children this air this air starts getting like you know it becomes lesser and lesser thinner and thinner okay that is the reason see now when this atmosphere this air is responsible for creating atmospheric pressure okay now when i am saying that this air is becoming thinner okay thinner and thinner that means atmospheric pressure will also decrease okay now at higher altitudes and what happen atmospheric pressure has become low okay atmospheric pressure has become low but the blood pressure remains the same the blood pressure remains the same now what will happen children that is the reason the bleeding of nose okay and the, sometimes the, the veins get burst okay the veins burst why children because outside from outside there is no force which can keep the blood pressure you know in like the blood inside the body okay now see on the body there is atmospheric pressure which is acting okay and this is balanced by what from the body inside the blood pressure is maintaining this force but when we go on the higher altitudes our blood pressure is same that means the force is coming and is present inside our body but then nothing is there to manage from the outside and that is the reason the 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 blood wants to come out why because the pressure is high in our body and low outside okay so always remember when we talk about this pressures so the fluids always flow from higher pressure to the lower pressure and that is the reason why the nose bleeds at higher altitudes okay or sometimes due to some you know severe difference in the uh, pressure even the person can die okay now we will talk about like you know 
uh, something will uh, write about the blood pressure and mountaineers okay and that is the reason when a person climbs on the mountain or when the when the person they go inside the water they are supposed to wear a special kind of suits okay when the person they climb up on the mountain or when they go inside the water they are supposed to wear a special type of suits now this suits what they do this suits maintain the body okay they prevent the body from the outer pressure okay because or keep the or keep our body into the proper position like see when we go inside the water we have discussed this thing in last lecture that when the depth is increased okay when the depth is increased okay then the pressure of the liquid get increased okay that means when a swimmer goes at the bottom of the river or the sea or the water bodies he will have to face more pressure you know more pressure will be there so his or her body may get ruptured may get burst so to prevent this uh, what has to be done a special kind of suit has to be worn okay special kind of suits they wear and that is the reason that pressure is maintained and their uh, blood doesn't comes out it is maintained okay now in the similar way when we talk about the air the space there also when the when the who goes when the astronaut goes they are supposed to wear a special kind of suit so that what will happen outside pressure is very negligible or zero and inner pressure is very high so that inner pressure will again will uh, burst can burst the uh, what vessels of the person and can the blood can come out and the person may die that is the reason why the person has to wear special kind of um suits when they uh, go under the water or when they have to go up in the sky or they have to go on the mountain okay now uh, enough with the discussion now we shall write something okay so we were talking about atmospheric pressure children what is the meaning of atmospheric pressure the pressure exerted by the atmosphere is called as atmospheric pressure okay why we don't feel this atmospheric pressure why we are not crushed due to this atmospheric pressure because our body do not get crushed due to atmospheric pressure our body do not get crushed due to atmospheric pressure because of the blood pressure okay which balances the atmospheric pressure okay now what i have written our body do not get crushed okay do not get crushed due to atmospheric pressure because of the blood pressure which balances the atmospheric pressure now let me know what is the meaning of where it has gone blood pressure so now in the next point we will write the blood which flows in our body is 
exert <coughs> the blood which flows in our body exert pressure on the blood vessels okay and so the blood which flows in our body exert pressure on the blood vessels or on the wall okay on the wall of the blood vessels this pressure on the walls of the vessels is called as blood pressure okay it is known as blood pressure okay now <coughs> okay so now what is then blood pressure is balancing atmospheric pressure okay and now if i ask what is blood pressure then the blood is flowing in our body and inside the like where it is flowing it is flowing in the blood vessels and the blood is applying force where on the blood vessels the wall of the blood vessels and this is known as what blood pressure so it that, that is the reason we are not crushed okay so we are protected by our blood pressure now what happens now next point children when we go to higher altitudes okay so the atmospheric pressure decreases okay atmospheric pressure decreases but the blood pressure but the blood pressure remains the same okay remains the same now what will happen now this i have explained you okay now so when you are going to higher altitudes the atmospheric pressure get decreased but your blood pressure is there it is same so what will happen children your blood pressure is going to exert pressure more isn't it because nothing is there which can subside this pressure so what happen in this case so in this case sometimes veins burst which can be which can be very fatal okay so what is happening when one goes up atmospheric pressure get decrease here the, the blood pressure remains same okay and then there is nothing which can maintain which can balance the blood pressure and so the blood will come out of our body okay now if i talk why if i ask why atmospheric pressure is low at the higher altitude so that also we will write over here why atmospheric pressure is low because on the surface on the surface of the earth 
मोर एयर इज प्रेजेंट मोर एयर इज प्रेजेंट विच बिकम्स लेस एट हायर एल्टीट्यूड okay so to begin with what i have started i wrote that what is atmospheric pressure the pressure which is exerted by the air is known as atmospheric pressure okay now what is the next point when we cannot keep two three books on our head okay if i ask you if i ask you to keep a pot of you know water the that matka on head and walk you won't be able to walk you will say oh nonsense what kind of work you have given isn't it so you will not do so if i ask you to keep piles of the books on the head very soon you will understand this is too heavy and you will not be agree to carry those books okay then how we are able to carry such uh, you know lot of mass on our head so why we don't have to carry why we don't see the effects of the atmospheric pressure because in our body blood is flowing blood is flowing on in the vessels now this blood is exerting pressure on the walls of the blood vessels now this blood vessels it you know it balances the atmospheric pressure as the blood pressure is little higher only than the atmospheric pressure now what is the next thing now the next thing is that when we go to higher altitudes as i told you at the surface of the earth more air is present that means atmospheric uh, you know the atmosphere is very what it is denser but as we go up in the uh, in the higher uh, on the higher altitudes so this atmosphere starts becoming thinner and thinner so what will happen children here the pressure is there atmosphere is more like air is more so more pressure is exerted okay so atmospheric pressure is high but as we go up as we go up the air is decreasing when air decreases the atmospheric pressure also will get decrease when air is not there then who is going to create the pressure okay so atmospheric pressure get decreased okay now what will happen when the atmospheric pressure is not there which was balanced by what blood pressure okay so blood pressure is still there it is same only but atmospheric pressure is not there so what will happen blood pressure will create the you know it the blood will create or it will exert more pressure on the blood vessels because now there is no force which can balance it and thus the burst the vessels burst and the blood comes out of the body okay so this was about the atmospheric pressure the first few examples more examples i'll be taking but this is just a general thing which we i have discussed about the atmospheric pressure now we'll continue 